Congress, Joe Byrne, Fire Brigade Union, speaking in support of Composite 17, campaigning for pregnant workers. The FBU welcomes this motion from the RCM and is pleased to support it. Pregnant firefighters are unable to remain in an operational role due to the risks involved and are very often forced off their watches and made to work totally different shift patterns. Shift patterns which do not fit in with their existing childcare arrangements. I don't know of any women who work 9 to 5 Monday to Friday who are then taken off that shift and moved on to nights. Around 4% of firefighters in the UK are women. So you can imagine securing decent maternity policies in different brigades has been an ongoing campaign within the FBU for many years. In 2008, the Fire Brigades Union produced a maternity, paternity and adoption guidance policy. This policy promotes best practice and was designed to assist officials with their negotiations locally. Shortly after its publication, the Isle of Wight became the first service to adopt the policy in its entirety, with Staffordshire Fire and Rescue following soon after. A number of brigades now pay 39 weeks of maternity leave at full pay, and others have improved their policies dramatically. But although we have achieved some wonderful successes, discrimination against pregnant women continues in our workplaces, and it doesn't improve when they return to work after having their babies either. Women in the fire service are more often than not isolated from their workmates whilst on maternity leave, and for breastfeeding firefighters, the situation is further exacerbated by them being still unable to return to operational duties because of the risk of transferring toxins to the baby via their breast milk. Punitive maternity policies restrict their ability to breastfeed exclusively for six months, as recommended by the World Health Organization and the UK Government. Our National Joint Council Grey Book Agreed Conditions state that women can maintain their existing shift pattern, but because our employers are more concerned about productivity than the health and well-being of our members, they are having to rearrange their lives and pay hundreds and hundreds of pounds for additional childcare. Other delegates have already referred to the recent Equality and Human Rights Commission research on pregnancy and maternity discrimination, so I won't go over that, all that again. Congress, we can't let this level of discrimination against women in our workplaces continue. Please support the motion and help our sisters and brothers in the Royal College of Midwives support our women's rights to decent maternity provisions. Thank you. Thank you.